again, my name's Gabe Zolna. This is the 15th of February, 2019. Just read an article on political. And uh, the article was written by Andrew Restuccia. That's R-E-S-T-U-C-C-I-A. It was posted on the 14th of February. Title, Trump Technically Obese Despite Doctor's Clean Bill of Health. All right, so how do you give someone a clean bill of health when they're technically obese? Huh? When someone's obese, they're open to a whole lot of unwanted illnesses, like diabetes, heart attacks, to mention just a few. President Donald Trump gained four pounds over the last year, according to a new assessment from his doctor a weight increase that makes him technically obese. How much you want to bet he gained a whole lot more than four pounds, huh? Both him and that Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, looks like a bloated rat. Just take a look at Donald Trump's pictures over the past year, huh? Come on. But Trump's doctor, Sean Connolly, nonetheless determined that the president, quote, remains in very good health overall, end of quote. How can that be possible? When someone's obese, they're not in very good health. In a memorandum released by the White House on Thursday, Connolly recorded Trump's height at 6'3 and his weight at 243. You think he's 243? Huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Last year, the president clocked in at 239, according to an assessment by his former doctor, Ronnie Jackson. The Center for Disease Control Prevention says that a body mass index of 30.0 or higher falls into the obese range based on his current height and weight. Trump's body mass index is 30.4 putting him across the obesity threshold. Obese people are at increased risk of a slew of health problems, including diabetes, heart attacks, heart attack diseases, and stroke. Huh? You think he's going to run again in 2020? The White House did not immediately respond to requests for comment about the president's weight. Jackson recommended last year that the president lose 10 to 15 pounds and put him on a diet and exercise plan. The White House acknowledged last week that the president has not followed the plan closely. How about not at all? Trump, the oldest U.S. president in history, has the reputation of guzzling Diet Coke and eating steak and fried food. All right, so now he's the eldest president in history, yet hair plug Biden, who's older, wants to run. For president, huh? <laughs> His diet is a, a, a contrast from that of the former president Barack Obama, who exercised regularly. Obama, we saw him exercise with those two-pound weights, and promoted healthy eating habits with his wife. You mean with Big Mike, former first lady Michelle Obama? Didn't Big Mike have liposuction on his big fat ass, huh? Is that how he had promoted healthy eating habits to Big Mike? Huh? That's a monster of a person. The president underwent a four-hour physical exam last week at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. Conley declared Trump was in very good health after the exam. Yeah, right. Which included assessments from 11 specialists, but the White House did not release any results until Thursday. Some Trump critics wonder why it took so long, but it often takes days to receive medical test results. The White House nonetheless released a memo on a busy day, shortly after news broke that the president planned to sign a government funding deal and issue a national emergency to ensure the construction of his border wall along the U.S.-Mexican border. I actually listened to his speech and he is very big on keeping drugs out of the country. Well, he's got to stop the CIA from bringing drugs in too, huh? In his memo, 
Conley recorded Trump's LDL cholesterol, commonly referred to as bad cholesterol, at 102 milligrams per deciliter. The CDC recommends that a person's LDL cholesterol be under 100. Trump has struggled with high cholesterol in the past, and Cloney said he had increased the president's dosage of cholesterol medicine. Why don't you just get him to stop eating ice cream and french fries, huh? Trump's blood pressure is considered normal, though at 118 and 80, Coney's measurement is at the high end of the CDC recommended range. Coney said Trump's liver, kidney, and thyroid functions, as well as his electrolytes and blood counts, were all normal. <laughs> I think what we need is a second opinion, huh? And I think we need to make certain that the scale that he gets on has been calibrated. There is no way that he's 243 pounds. None. Just look at him. <laughs> Absolute joke. The guy's a walking time bomb. I mean, he really is a walking time bomb. But it is what it is. I'll attach the link. You look at it. Take a look at his neck in the picture. I mean, this guy, this guy is probably 265, if not more. That's sort of what I think. His tailor would have an idea, because they're always adjusting his shirt size, and his jacket size, and his pants size. What a joke. Totally insane. Like I said, we need a second opinion. Thanks for listening.